folks, and welcome to the pilot episode of The Clark Show. In 2005, four of my friends and I started an internet comedy show we called The Clark Show. The cast included Casey Fulman as Merv, Chris Arn as Harvey, Clinton Foster as Gunther, Andrew Neal as the host, and then there was me, Timothy, the cameraman. I sat down recently with the host of the show, Andrew Neal, to get some of his thoughts on what the show meant to him. Okay, well, my name is Andrew Neal. Uh, I grew up in Clark, South Dakota uh, with the filmmaker, and me and him have been friends for a while. Um, when we started... I guess I really didn't know what we were getting into. I, I knew some guys over in Watertown that were doing a show at the time. And I'd helped them out and been in an, an episode of their little show. And I was really, really interested in doing one um, myself. And so just one night, we just randomly, I had this camera that I've had for, I had had for like a year and never used. And we just wung it. And we just were like, it was like two in the morning. We we're like, hey, let's just do something. And we just won the entire thing, improv everything, we didn't have anything written, and it just caught on. I mean, we told people what we were doing, and we liked what we were doing, we had fun doing it, and it just started going, and it started to become, as I was doing it, and I think as we were all doing it, we realized how much we were interested in uh, videography and filmmaking, telling stories to people, and I think that's the main thing that we wanted to do, is tell these funny stories and make people laugh. I mean, that was my intentions the, uh, the entire time. I just wanted people to watch it and to enjoy it. Uh, right now I'm a junior up at uh, Minnesota State University, Moorhead. I'm majoring in film studies with an emphasis in production. Uh, I'm mainly trying to follow the, the line of directing. I've directed uh, quite a few projects up there since I began. Yeah, so I'm really original, and after I shot a show in high school, I decided to do a show in college, too. Um, it's called Third West Ballard. You can find it at thirdwestballard.com. And it's been a lot of fun. We've been working on it for over a year now. But yeah, it's a comedy show, college comedy, you know, all kinds of crazy crap goes down on it. You know, it's just a lot of fun. We've, we've had a lot of fun making it. We've, get, we've got a lot of the film department up there at MSUM involved. A lot of the theater department involved as well. But I really think that um, doing the Clark Show really helped develop my sense of story and just the way to tell a story. Um, I, and I think just it's over time, over the years, I've just further refined that uh, storytelling, um, the process, really. And I mean, I, I think the, I owe a lot to the show back in high school, the Clark Show. I mean, I mean it really was a start. And even now, you know, I'm still going to be developing things. I'm probably going to look back at Third West and think of all these things that I can improve on. Like I said, I mean, some of the stuff we came up with was, was really good. I mean, episode three, Laundry Night, I mean, the washer and dryer killing people, I mean, that was great. I mean, I remember Zach just said, hey, I, my parents, or my mom just bought this new washer and dryer and we just together were like you know let's use it for something what are we gonna do we're gonna make it like HAL 9000 from 2001 and just start killing us off one by one you know and I mean and I'd have to say my favorite episode is probably the one the wild man I think that's absolutely hilarious just Clinton going crazy for no reason at all and just in, just doing just outrageous stuff and his brother Sheldon being the stupid farmer who always closes the door on us or invites us to do something that in the end he just changes his mind. I mean, that was just hilarious. The end of the last episode was always was, is just hilarious. I think Casey and Corey's final ba battle, Merv and Darth Rainbow, that's hilarious. 
and the flashbacks to the Jedi Academy with Yoda and and when Cory when Cory bitch slaps Merv and it's in slow mo and it's just this big boom. The only choice I had was to epically confront him. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I probably laughed till I was crying. Zach's laughing right now. And, uh, I mean, it was just a lot of fun, some of the stuff we thought of. I mean, it was a lot of fun. But it was funny when it first came out, just the, uh, we were so proud of it. I remember even the first episode, which is terrible. Um, we were so proud of it, and I remember how psyched we were to get it on the internet and everything. And, and I don't think we realized that, I mean, with some of the stuff that we were doing and saying, we lived in rural South Dakota. I mean, people have a very, are very close-minded, you know, as compared to a place where there's more um, diversity, like on a university, places, things like that, where people get used to things like that. I mean, rural South Dakota, I mean, we were dropping the, the F-bomb. And that was the big thing. I remember the night that we lost the show, both... Um, Zach's mom and Chris's dad confronted me about dropping the F-bomb and eventually we had to take it out or else uh, Zach's mom and Chris's dad would not let them do the show. I remember that. I mean, remember the night that um, Zach's mom called me and was like, Andrew, you know, you can't just be dropping, you can't just be dropping the F-word around everywhere and posting online. You guys are in high school. You have universities that you want to get into. You're about to go to college and people see this on the internet. What are they going to think, you know? So it was, it was just really funny to see how people reacted to things like that. You know, it's, it's just interesting, looking back at it, to see what we find funny now, and what we, like, looking back at some of the stuff and saying, holy crap, we said that? And the stuff that really isn't a problem is the stuff that people were like, oh, they said that? You know? It's just completely different points of view. Um, but it was so funny that it just caused, caused such a stir around town that people were actually at first kind of wishing we wouldn't do the show. But I think by episode two, where we just, you know, screwed around with Zach and Casey and each other with lightsabers and a friggin' tri camera tripod, they eventually just forgot it. And I think we dropped the F-bomb a few more times during the show, but that was because we were just kind of, we were trying to be cool, you know? I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun, and, you know, I think overall people knew that we weren't trying to be hurtful about it. We were dumb high school kids. We didn't know any better at the time. I mean, looking at it now, some of the stuff I don't agree with, some of the things we laughed at and the things we said, I mean, you know, some of the stuff, you know, it's not that funny anymore, but some of the stuff is even more funny now. And I'm really happy with the way that things went, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun. And it really inspired me to fulfill, well, go through with what I'm doing right now. Okay, first of all, looking back at your career, I mean, at everything that you've done, would you say that it's been worth it? Okay, well, we'll see you around, man.